Okay, YouTube, we are going to get our 56 inch saw back and I got Alex here, give me a hand. And we're gonna get this blade off the mandrel. They're gonna come out in the morning and we're gonna do some machine work. So I hope to get some video of this for you. I don't know how this works myself, but they're gonna true that collar up, which is called the fast collar. That's the, that's the collar that stays on the mandrel, it's shaft itself. And uh, they'll put it back into tolerance and all the wobble should go away. And uh, well, hopefully it works out. So, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing off. Two man job. Yep. Okay, just set it there for a second. Like a large pizza to go here. All right, let me get my fingers. I got your fingers back. Why would you want your fingers? Okay, let's just get, yeah, let's get it out to the end. All righty. That takes care of that detail. So yeah, they're gonna bring some, a rig out and they're gonna attach it to the tracks and they're gonna turn it into a lathe, literally and true that collar back up. So that ought to be very interesting. So I will talk to you people in the morning and we'll see how this turns out. I'll see you then. Okay, we're back. And I just want to show you the before picture of this collar. Uh, they don't want to shoot no video of turning it because that's their company secret how they do this. And we will honor that. But take a look at, um, how badly from spinning a saw blade on here at one time and, and rolled that collar over so here's the before and with the magic of video we will show you after and we also do have our new 56 inch saw with us so we will be with you here in a minute okay it's been about two hours now and here it is here is the newly machined collar and um, that took him about a good hour and a half um, he cleaned everything up uh, this is the outer collar and this is the one that was already machined so we have also our 56 inch saw so this is the replacement saw to the uh, one that had to crack in it and uh, the Eddie Horvath is on his way out to the mill right now, and we're going to go ahead and install this blade and uh, just see how it spins anyway. And then Saturday, we'll be making you a video with the 56 inch back on again. It'll be great. So, alrighty, we'll keep you updated here in a second. here with the Eddie Horvath and we're going to make a couple test cuts with some scrap just to see what see what this blade's going to do hopefully we got everything out of the way oh, there's my cup of water sitting on the carriage see what happens uh, how good we how good this saw is going to run here and Saturday we'll be back to full-time sawing here so the guy spent some time on his plate today, so... Yeah, I'll make a few cuts and see what it does. It's gotten pretty darn good. Might have to adjust the lead a little bit, but well, that's 
good for a test cut. Alrighty, we'll be back with you here in a second. And look who showed up. It is the Eddie Horvath. What do you think, Ed? I think it's good. We got to run it as true as you can get a blade to run right now. Yeah, the, the tolerance is on that collar like a brand new sawmill now. Uh, anybody that's having saw problems out there, um, you run in a circular mill, old frick or whatever, um, they'll come out and they'll do it right on your mill as long as you don't have a bent mandrel or your bearings are bad. So if you're running the old babbled bearings, uh, you, you might want to reconsider that. But uh, a new mandrel with bearings, Ed, would be over $3,500. And we come out of here today a little bit over $500. Yeah. And, good and we're good as true again. So, And then we got to 56. Oh, would that have been nice to have, huh? Yeah, on ugly logs. <laughs> or any log. Oh, that was an ugly log Saturday. And, uh, it doesn't sound like a whole lot of difference, but it, it, it makes a difference. It and we're going to check the lead here once we get into bigger logs. Because now that he trued it back up... Uh, getting that wobble out of that saw, we might have to tweak the lead a little bit, but uh, other than that, I think we're good. So. I, I think we're ready to saw it. Alrighty. Um, we will be with you Saturday morning, and you won't see that till Monday anyway. Yeah, but so, it'll be raining. We'll be working yeah, in the rain. We're gonna work in the rain, we don't care. But everybody have a great rest of the week, and we'll see you on Saturday. Bye-bye. Right.